Hello YouTube, welcome back, Chris here. Today I want to talk to you about floor pumps and air compressors. In my opinion, the most important tool you can own is a floor pump. When owning a bicycle, that should be the first thing that you buy, aside from maybe a helmet. Um, I sell a lot of bikes here in the bike shop, and you know, in going through selling a bike, people often say, what else do I need with the bike to make it usable? Well, you go through the basics of a water bottle cage is a good idea, a helmet is a must, you know, a flat fix kit, maybe small tool, um, things like that. But the one thing I always recommend is a floor pump. And this applies whether you're riding a road bike, gravel bike, mountain bike, hybrid. It's so important to have a good pump at home. Uh, after I tell people a floor pump, I get usually get one of three responses. Sometimes I hear, okay, great, I'll get a floor pump. <laughs> That's the best thing to hear. Sometimes I hear, no, I'll just bring it into the bike shop or the gas station when I need air. Don't like to hear that and I'll explain why in a minute. And the third thing is I don't need a floor pump, I have an air compressor at home. So the first one, obviously that's great, they buy a floor pump. The second answer, uh, they'll just bring it to the bike shop. You know, I, I like to inform people when you're buying any sort of bike that has higher pressure tires or any bike in general, you're going to need to fill the tires often. If you've got a road bike running anywhere from 80 to 120 pounds of pressure, you're going to have to fill that every time you ride it, even if you're riding it the next day after you've already filled it. Uh, that kind of pressure will go low quickly because it is such high pressure and you're going to want to make sure you're getting the right pressure in there before you ride it. A basic floor pump like this, real easy to do um, to get that right pressure. Uh, number two, or number three, the air compressor. Now air compressor is a great tool. I use one every single day here in the bike shop. This is the type of setup I use. This is a Park Tool INF-1. This tool, last I checked, runs about $130. Very expensive. It's got a built-in gauge, obviously, a trigger over here, and then a Presta and a Schrader head. So you can do really anything with this. Fantastic shop tool, but very expensive for the home bike mechanic or bike user. Um, most people, when they're referring to a compressor, are using something along the lines of this. Very basic head, Schrader only, no gauge. It's just something quick and easy that you might fill your car tire with. Well, this works great, um, but typically, you know, if you're talking a higher-end bike, if I press the valves, then you're using one of these pressed adapters, which work awesome in a pinch. I've seen a lot of people damage their valve stems with these or break their valve stems off because of using these if they're not careful. So a great little tool, and it can be handy at times, but not something I recommend using on the daily if you can avoid it. Also, when they're talking about compressors, they're often talking about a smaller compressor, like a hot dog compressor, a little, little uh, couple gallon one uh, that doesn't put out a lot of pressure. Trying to get to 100 pounds of pressure on a tiny compressor is not easy to do. You're going to need a larger compressor. Also, the convenience of it. If you don't keep your compressor full all the time, which I don't recommend you usually do, um, then you're going to need to fill your compressor. By the time you get the compressor out, get the tools out, fill it, check your air pressure with an additional gauge, you could have easily taken your floor pump and filled it. Um, so anyway, that's, that's why. And there are a lot of good reasons to use compressors. I use compressors for all kinds of things. If you have a nice setup, it's easy to use. It's fast. You can get high pressure with a good setup. And uh, you can also, uh, much, much better if you're doing a tubeless setup on a uh, compressor. Now, why, even if you do have a compressor, why should you own a floor pump like this? Well, this is a really basic floor pump from Specialized, nothing over the top. These run, I think, $40. It has a built-in gauge here. It says it'll go up to 160 PSI. This guy has a smart head, I meaning it will do Presta or Schrader valves with a single hole. And uh, for 40 bucks, this is everything you need. This will fill anything from a, the most recreational bike up to the highest end road bike. It will do everything you need, really, uh, short of maybe setting up a tubeless setup. Um, the nice thing about this, too, it's portable. You can throw this in the car. If you're mountain biking, you obviously most of the time are probably driving to the location where you mountain bike. Maybe not always, but you keep this in the car, fill your tires as needed. Um, you can uh, bring this really anywhere, races uh, or any events and um, it's always ready to go. You know, you take this, stick it on, and fill it up. You don't have to worry about the compressor. Gauge is right there. A lot easier to use and a lot more accurate with the gauge. So that's my take. Again, not knocking compressors. I think they're super handy, and everyone uh, should have access to one when needed. But for the average consumer, the floor pump is still the best way to inflate your tires. Well, let me know below what you think of this. If you have any questions, comments, or if you don't agree with me, please list it in the comments, and we will see you next time.